In this video of Microsoft Power BI do-it-yourself tutorials, we're going to talk about how to create a calendar using DAX. Please refer to the video number 9 where we set the context of implementing a project which we are doing. Use the PBIX file which was used in the previous video number 13. This was the PBX file live project and we will continue using this file for the project or the implementation of the project which we are doing. To create a calendar table, go to the data on the left side and click on the modeling menu on the top and click on new table. Let me, let me show it to you. So go to the data tab. This is the data tab go to modeling menu and click on click on new table now here this is a dax function and the introduction for the dax function we'll do it in the next video but this is just to create a table here this is a calculation pane which you can write calculations to create multiple columns dates and various other tables columns so let me show you a sample here I'm going to create a date underscore table calendar table so D underscore calendar table it takes a column here date between 2000 1st of January 2000 to 2049 12th of December so that's how it's created a column but we need more than just a column we need multiple columns with year month quarter and everything for that I have written a set of DAX functions there you go so you have this function written it's very simple so the calendar which is going to be a table in this I'm going to add columns calendar date this is the one which gives you all the dates and then date integer year month year month and so on and so forth here with calculations on the right so this is how you would add the columns don't worry about it on the calculations this calculation is available in the description description section of this video below however you don't have to understand the DAX now in the next set of videos we are going to talk about DAX in detail for now all you're going to do is copy the calculations written here and paste it in the new table this expression editor with that once you have done go to relationships and you would see the D underscore calendar table here with date now looks like the year is a summation because it's a integer so it default it takes as a fact I want to change that go back in here select D calendar I can minimize this here select year and change it to text on the top like this go back in the relationships and you would see the summation column disappear now create a join between DT sale and the date and double click here you would see the column selected man many to one relationship is created now you go back in here you would see all the values available now let's look at the calculation which we did for this the calendar so this is the calculation feel free to copy it from the description section of the video below
validate that the deep underscore calendar table is available in the relationship area and create a join between D calendar and F sales. Now we're gonna create and understand the data a bit. So in order to do that, I'm going to create a table with a few columns selected. So create a table to get an understanding of the data. Include customer country, city, customer name, quantity, unit price, and unit cost. These are the table columns which we are going to use. So go back here. Go back. Let's get rid of this. Uh, from the D customer table, include country, city, and customer name. Please remember that this is the table I'm talking about. And from the F sales, I'm going to get quantity, unit cost, and unit price. I'm going to expand this a little bit from the visualizations here. I'm going to increase the column headers. Let's say 11. And I'm going to increase so that I can see the values here to 12. All right, so this is what we have created. Let's, pr let's bring in the date as well. And the date is not showing up here. So let's bring us the DT sale date. And I'm going to put this just before quantity. All right, so this is what we have, the values here. So in the next video, we're gonna talk about the introduction to DAX calculations and we will add more interesting information on top of it. So in order to create some calculated columns, KPIs and stuffs. So in the next set of videos, we are gonna focus on the DAX Let's do the following exercises. So repeat the above steps without watching the video, just to make sure that you understand this calculation. Then get D sale type table, which is available in the same database and create or validate the join with F sales. Create a line pi or any other visualization to demonstrate your understanding on the data. Thank you for watching.